Attention all thrill seekers and ocean lovers. Are you ready to dive into the depths of the sea and come face to face with some of the most terrifying creatures known to man? If you thought the Megalodon was the ultimate predator of the deep, then think again. We've scoured the ocean depths and unearthed 15 sea monsters that will make your spine tingle and your heart race. From bloodthirsty krakens to giant squid with razor-sharp tentacles, these creatures are not to be trifled with. So, sit back, hold on tight, and prepare to be amazed as we take you on a journey through the world of 15 sea monsters that are scarier than Megalodon. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below to stay updated on all our thrilling content. Bow-Fronted Hammerhead Shark One of the more popular sharks that we will cover today is the Bow-Fronted Hammerhead Shark. This shark is very interesting because of the shape of its head. It's unlike any other shark in existence, making its characteristics unique to hammerhead sharks. These sharks are very large, often measuring between 3.7 and 4.3 meters long. They will most often be found in tropical or subtropical areas where temperatures are much milder. While these sharks do pose a risk to humans, it is actually the inverse of this that is the most common. Yes, humans actually pose a much larger risk to the sharks than the other way around. That's because many years ago, the fins and skin of these sharks were considered to be very valuable. These days, laws have prevented these sharks from being poached for their skin. However, years ago, these sharks were being killed by the dozens, simply to harvest their body parts. Stingrays Steve Irwin was a world-famous TV personality all throughout the 90s and early 2000s. However, a single animal was responsible for his death in Australia back in 2006. A single stingray, known as a bull ray, allegedly stabbed Steve through the heart and he passed away within minutes. Stingrays are some of the most dangerous creatures to lurk around the sea. However, the chances of becoming attacked by a stingray are essentially non-existent. The only widely reported reason for a stingray to attack a human diver is if you step on them or harm them in any way. Stingrays attacks will inject venom into the blood of their prey and can occasionally be fatal if the victim is struck in a vital organ, which was the case in the event of Steve Irwin's death. There have been no specific documents mentioning exactly what went wrong during Steve Irwin's dive, so his case is certainly a bit odd. Wolf Fish If oceanic creatures haven't already proven to be disturbing enough, the wolffish plans to take things to a new level. This fish is one of the most terrifying you will likely ever see, especially since they blend in with the ocean flow and attack unsuspecting victims as they swim or walk by. These ridiculous-looking fish can grow to be nearly 40 inches in diameter and weigh up to 90 pounds. They're usually found in tropical climates and mostly feed on small fish and other tiny oceanic creatures. We beg you to find a single sea creature more terrifying than the wolf fish because this fish is jaw-droppingly hideous and equally terrifying. Barracuda Over the years, several divers and fishermen have shared stories of human-sized barracudas which are rumored to jump from the water and attack people while in their boats. While these cases may certainly be true, they haven't exactly been validated. However, it's still best to keep an eye out for these nasty fish if you are out spearfishing or harpoon fishing. Barracudas can grow up to six feet long and have extremely sharp teeth that can tear through almost any prey. They typically do not attack humans, however. In most cases of a human being bitten by a barracuda, they were spearfishing. Barracudas were attracted to the scent of the fish that had just been skewered and began to jump and attack in hopes of having a nice meal. 
However, the humans were likely either in the way of the attack or were detected as prey, resulting in the barracuda latching down on the individual's flesh. A bite from a barracuda is extremely painful, as it can release toxins into the person's blood that can cause uncontrollable pain for up to three months. There is no real cure for this pain, and the affected individual is simply forced to suffer through it until they make a full recovery. Goblin Shark The goblin shark, or in other words, the deep sea shark with what is possibly the largest tine in the ocean. As is easy to see, the predatory fish call their own an oversized nose-like outgrowth that protrudes far beyond the mouth. But that's not the only point that makes the inhabitants of the deep sea so exciting. Fossil records show that the goblin shark has existed in its current form for at least 125 million years. As a result, many scientists suspect that we are dealing here with the most primitive species of mackerel sharks, which include the famous great white shark. On average, the swimming hunters are between 3 and 4.5 meters long. In the Gulf of Mexico, fishermen have even caught a 6-meter specimen in their nets. Rockfish The next fish is truly incredible, as its camouflaging abilities are out of this world. This fish is known as a rockfish. A stonefish is very dangerous to humans and animals, as it is extremely venomous but looks like nothing more than your average rock. This fish is known as being the most venomous fish in the world. They typically only grow to be around 40 centimeters long, but their small size can certainly be deceiving. The pain from the venom of these fish is indescribable. It's not uncommon for an individual to simply pass out from the sheer amount of pain they are experiencing from a wound. The venom within these fish is known to cause paralysis and even heart failure, depending on how significant the wound really is. Lyopleurodon What's truly incredible about the Lyopleurodon is that we have discovered full, intact Lyopleurodon skeletons. They have been propped up in museums around the world, giving us a shockingly accurate look at how big these dinosaur age monsters would have been. There is a lot of debate about how long the Lyopleurodon would be if it were alive today. Some scientists claim it could be as large as 50 feet, but others say it may be much closer to 20 feet. Either way, this was a big boy that would be more than happy to eat you as an afternoon snack. Some scientists estimate that at least 20% of the Lyopleurodon's length was in its head that was filled with razor-sharp teeth that could tear through flesh without a second glance. These dinosaurs were first documented in 1873 when they were discovered by Henry Salvage. Some of the smaller examples of a Lyopleurodon would be about three times the length of a human, but we have reason to believe that, in the right circumstances, they could grow substantially larger in their adult life. Basilosaurus This, yet another prehistoric animal that could devour you without even trying. The Basilosaurus was believed to have lived between 41 and 33 million years ago. The problem with these animals is that researchers had a difficult time classifying them as prehistoric whales rather than snakes. That's because these behemoths are far, far longer than your average whale, and most of their length is in their tail. They dwarf modern whales and would have been one of the largest sea creatures to ever live. Fossils of the Basilosaurus were not found until 1904 in North Africa. They were also found in Egypt, Jordan, and Tunisia, just to name a few. Though it may shock you to know that we have found evidence of them as far south as Antarctica. What's really creepy is that these whale-like dinosaurs would have been super common in the prehistoric era, maybe even as common as a bass or a catfish these days. It was an apex predator, meaning there was virtually nothing in the ocean that would dare hunt a Bacillosaurus. These guys were at the top of the food chain and would eat anything and everything in their path. Glasshead Fish What at first glance looks like the creation of a crazy science fiction author is actually at home in the Northern Pacific. It is not difficult to see why the glasshead fish lives up to its name. 
The transparent protective hood gives us a detailed insight into the head world of this deep sea dweller. With a maximum length of 15 centimeters, the glass head fish is classified in the ranks of the ghost fish. This surreal creature's diet consists primarily of plankton. Deep Sea Frogfish Given the lantern-like outgrowths that adorn the skulls of deep-sea frogfish, you'd think these bodily components act like a kind of flashlight. However, the luminous organs are not so much a visual aid in the dark, but rather lures that are used to attract prey in the deep sea. This so-called esca has a very complicated structure and is made up of a large number of small cells filled with glowing bacteria, reflective tissue, and light-conducting structures. At home in the deep seas of all the world's oceans, this suborder numbers about 160 different species, with the females being significantly larger than their male contemporaries. Accordingly, particularly large specimens reach a body length of up to 1.2 meters. Giant Stingray What sets this fish apart from the others on this list is that it is still around to this day and poses a serious threat to anything in its path. The giant stingray has been around for a very long time, and it still swings around the freshwater areas of Australia. Imagine that. Australia is the home to a gigantic animal? Who would have thought? These huge stingrays measure about 17 feet wide and have 10-inch poison spikes in their tails that are strong enough to pull the weight of several humans with ease. These fish are believed to have lived on Earth since prehistoric times and would have outlived dinosaurs by millions of years. Some researchers say these creatures would have descended from sharks, but we don't know that for sure. These guys were so resilient and defensive that they managed to survive several ice ages and other catastrophic events that completely changed the climate on Earth. I have no idea how they managed to do it, but these guys were literal tanks that would take anything thrown at them and continue living against all odds. What makes them even more fearsome is that their tails have spikes that are filled with a neurotoxin that will kill you almost instantly. They can also stab you straight through your limbs without any effort whatsoever. These guys are more than just deadly. They are ridiculously strong and have eyes set to kill. Blue Ringed Octopus These creatures are extremely beautiful but are deadly beyond your wildest imagination. The blue-ringed octopus is the name given to an octopus that is, rather obviously, covered in blue rings. These animals weigh just 30 grams, but are estimated to contain enough venom to kill 20 people. Their poison is said to be over 1,200 times more powerful than cyanide and can cause paralysis almost instantly. By no means is this a creature you want to handle or even come near. As with most of the other sea creatures on this list, though, these tiny fellows will almost definitely leave you alone so long as you don't mess with them. They typically mind their own business and will only attack if they feel threatened. As of today, there is no treatment for the poison they inflict on their enemies. If the victim is lucky enough to live through the attack, symptoms are expected to calm down after about 24 hours and have no long-term effects. Saltwater Crocodile this animal is one that needs no introduction and looks like a modern-day dinosaur. The saltwater crocodile is estimated to kill just two people each year, though that is more than enough to warn your average person from coming near one. These animals are listed as the most dangerous creature in Australia. This is extremely significant, as Australia is full of strange animals that would love to kill you with just a single bite. These beasts can weigh in at 1,200 kilograms and are believed to be the largest crocs on the planet. They are also known to have the most powerful bite of any animal currently in existence. Their jaws are filled with intricate muscles that are estimated to have over 10 times the average biting force of a great white shark. These animals are not only deadly on land, though, but also the sea. If you are in the immediate vicinity of one of these animals, there's virtually no escape unless you can find shelter or climb to higher land. They can lunge and attack faster than most people can even comprehend what is about to take place. They have truly earned their place on this list as one of the most dangerous animals currently in existence. Box Jellyfish 
In recent years, the box jellyfish has become a popular creature amongst amateur sea enthusiasts. These jellyfish have knife-like teeth that can cut through human flesh, like a hot knife through butter. These animals have been the result of more Australian deaths than sharks, crocodiles, and snakes combined. They are truly terrifying, but look completely benign. These jellyfish are often completely transparent, making them almost invisible to the naked eye. In fact, when swimmers first began reporting that they were being attacked in the water, it took investigators quite a long time to determine the culprit because they literally couldn't even see these creatures. A single box jellyfish contains enough poisonous venom to take out 60 people and can kill an average person in as little as five minutes. Many other species of jellyfish simply go with the flow. However, these jellyfish have the ability to swim and they are darn good at it. They have several eyes on every side of their body, so instead of waiting for a meal to come to them, they can spot it several yards away and lunge towards it, delivering a fatal blow. They rarely ever attack humans, as they only intentionally attack what they know they can consume. But humans are at serious risk of a jellyfish attack, simply from bumping into them and releasing their venom. Loch Ness Monster no, this isn't about the mythical Loch Ness Monster that likely never existed. Instead, it's about a creature that was found in 2009 that many searchers claim could have been from the prehistoric era of aquatic animals. This impressive animal was found in Alberta, Canada, and looks just like a long-necked pleosaur, though it seems pretty unlikely that it was actually related to dinosaurs, though it's definitely possible. Researchers believe this animal most likely lived underwater for its entire life and would have grown to be the size of your average car, far smaller than many of the other animals on this list though it is still huge in the overall scale of things. The problem is, is that this specific specimen was not fully grown when it died, so we have no way to know just how big it may have gotten. Similar animals have been discovered that measured more than 50 feet long, but we have no way to know if this animal would have grown that large or not. And with that, thanks for watching. Be sure to let us know which of these animals you found the most terrifying. Also, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more great videos.